All right, man, we back. <laughs> Good fellow sports TV in the building. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Just got done working. Appreciate everybody, man. Once again, hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. And everybody's favorite diva receiver of this generation, Antonio Brown, is calling the Raiders organization haters. Apparently, they fined him for missing a training camp day for 40 grand. And they, and they fined him another around 13 estimated grand according to TMZ Sports for missing a walkthrough. Now, he missed these things because of the helmet grievance, okay? But they still end up finding him over 50 grand for for missing the walkthrough in the training camp. And he basically said, you know, the Raiders, my own you know organization hating on me and basically everybody gonna have to pay for it uh, this year. At the end of the day, Truth be told, I agree with him to a certain extent. I, I said from the very beginning about this helmet situation that he was trying to get out of training camp. I said that the whole the whole time. But at the end of the day, Mike Mayock is the one, I guess, that sent him the paperwork. And I'll link the article in the description so you can see all the paperwork and stuff he posted on the gram. And shout out to TMZ Sports again. And, and Mike Mayock is the one that's playing the bad cop. He the GM. And if you don't Mike know Mike Mayock, he was working at NFL Network. Never been a general manager for NFL team, nothing. He's basically Mel Kuyper, Todd McShay. But John Gruden said we 100% support this guy. He didn't say, you know, we, the organization. When John Gruden is the organization, when you got a 10-year deal worth, I think, like $100 million, you are the organization, fool. You know what I'm saying? And if you support Antonio Brown, even though he lost his grievance, why would you still find him 50 grand? It's like they want this to be a toxic situation. If you, if you, if you keep, keep it real with them. If you don't fuck with the situation, when you fuck with them, you feel like he was just trying to skip out on camp, well, just be quiet. All right? Don't sit here and show fake love and say, oh, we we, we love Antonio and we support the helmet. It's a serious situation and this and that. And then you have Mike Mayock be the, the bad situation. It was, this was a, just a, a recipe for disaster. You know what? The Raiders got some talent this year. But it's a recipe for disaster, to be honest. Because, one, you got a quarterback that's scared to get hit and gun and gun shy and Derek Carr. Then you got, you know, Mike Mayock and John Gruden once again running the organization. And they both, they both, it don't seem like they're equipped to handle Antonio Brown. Then if Derek Carr can't get on the ball in his offense, it's, it's a recipe gone disaster. They shouldn't have fined him that 50 grand. You know what? He shouldn't have made it public. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, if you want to ride a tight ship, you know, and privacy is at an all-time premium high, why is you unveiling your personal business and the Raiders' personal business? That's my problem with him. Why are you putting this on Instagram? You know what I'm saying? That's the number one thing in today's society that's at the most premium for me personally. Relationships with people, relationships with women, you know, my private life is, is personal. I don't tell niggas my private life. I only tell them what I want them to know. You know what I'm saying? And that's, and that's the crazy thing about it, man. Because when y'all, when you looking for a woman, or if you a woman, you looking for a man, you don't want no nigga, you know, or no woman taking a picture while you sleep, you know, putting y'all personal business on social media. That's inviting, that's inviting, um... You know, that is inviting demons into y'all relationships and make it that's it makes it a toxic relationship. Social media makes relationships toxic. And not just, you know, sexual or you know, relationships, that's personal and friendship relationships. You know what I'm saying? And for Tony O'Brown, you know, he 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 got some responsibility in this too. Taking this to Instagram like a two dollar hoe. You know, like an Instagram thought, bro. That's what he is. He's Instagram thought. And I and I like his game, but Real talk, I don't fuck with him. I wouldn't want him on my team. Just to keep it real. He toxic. He very, very toxic, man. But the Raiders, they know what they dealing with. And they trying to tame a nigga you just gave all that guaranteed money to. You trying to you trying to put a whore, you trying to collar him and you trying to choke choke him and you trying to make him submit and bow down to y'all to y'all system. But he got 30 million, I think, guaranteed. They trying to tame a wild Pokemon without a Pokeball. Not gonna work. <laughs> Not gonna work. This is a bad situation right here. And if Derek Carr don't get him the ball, it ain't gonna have he don't have to get his stats, forget wins and losses. He care about getting his yardage. And if he don't get his if he don't get his yardage and his touchdowns and stuff of that nature, 
and John Gruden start cussing them out if he run the wrong route or or it just don't go right over there, this gonna go real soft real quick. They're gonna send him home and trade him. You know, they might even buy him out and give him his money, man. Because one, they don't have a structure to tame him. And only only organ only few organizations have that structure. If you win it, it's all good. The Rams, they win it. The Patriots, they got a structure, they win it. You know, teams like that, you go to the Raiders, bad move. They wanted to give John Gruden all that money. They wanted to give uh, uh, Antonio Brown all that money. But you got a top five NFL player, Khalil Mack, that you didn't want to pay. That's all you need to know about the Oakland Raiders. If I'm Oakland, I ain't even mad that they leaving the Las Vegas, man. Because they they just idiots, man. But, hey, appreciate everybody for checking in. I'll link that article from TMZ Sports in the description. All the information in there. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, thehellblaze.com. Promo code GOODFELLOW1BOXING gives you 18%. Off the 100% all natural products website promo code description. Appreciate the love, support, um, and uh, don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have business questions, inquiry, sponsorship, video quests. We did an NFL uh, kickoff show yesterday. I linked that in the description on the kickoff show, and uh, we called it the first first down. So check it out. We got a playlist for it too. If I forget the link, it's NFL Live. And don't forget to check out our regular video format NFL uh, playlist too. Appreciate the love, support. One time for the one time. Good for sports TV. We go.